and many restaurants and bars are doing what they can to support their employees during this difficult time. That includes Ale Emporium. The popular bar on 86 in Alsonville on the northeast side of Indianapolis is usually packed. While that will not be the case for at least a few more weeks, workers there will still get an income. The owner of Ale plans to continue paying kitchen and salaried staff their normal wages and paying tipped employees their average weekly rate. They've all been really appreciative. Um, we just thought it was the right thing to do. And uh, I think they all know that. It's wonderful. I mean, I've worked here on and off for 18 years. I mean, obviously, it's a wonderful company and a wonderful family to work for. They definitely embrace um, the fam their core fam family values. And uh, that's what they're going to do with us. They're not going to let anyone, you know, go without. They're going to do everything they can. They always have. They always will. Owner Scott Bond says there are about 300 employees combined at Ale's three locations. He says he will also be providing staff and their families with one free meal per day. And several other restaurants are taking new steps to retain business under the temporary restrictions on dining in. Some are offering free delivery like Chipotle, Denny's and Joella's and services like DoorDash are letting customers request no contact deliveries. If you make the request, your food will be left at your door. 